Oh, good morning, good morning, guys. As you can see, it's a bit brisk this morning, um, but um, we've had so, so much rain of late, as, as the whole country, I think. Um, yeah, places like Nottinghamshire and, and places like that flooded, so I suppose we've got away pretty lightly, but um, yeah, it's absolutely bucketed it down for, for I don't know how many days, and um, everything is soaking wet to the point where I am wearing my wellies. Um, which is which is unheard of anyway um happy new year to everybody um today is i think it's the third or fourth of january um and, I, and i've come back to the woodlands um as you know woodland photography is not my forte it's not something i'm particularly strong at but i wanted to give it another go because we've had these floods and <clears throat> when i walk around here i can see puddles everywhere and potentially some opportunities but I don't know. Um, I, I've walked down this woods quite a way and, and I've seen nothing really. But I just walked past this and, and there's this gnarly tree here. Look at these, um, this, this, this beautiful, beautiful trunk um, with these winding, um, well, I don't know, the winding trunk here. He, he's just absolutely stunning. And um, I want to just photograph this part of the trunk itself. Um, I don't know, I, I've had a look around to look see if I can photograph the whole tree and I don't, I don't think there is an opportunity anywhere but this trunk is so attractive. It just caught my eye as I was walking by. I've done one similar to it when I came last time, way, way down that track there, but this one is wet and it's giving off a shine um, and it's just so attractive. So yeah, I thought I, thought I would um, stop see if I can get a photograph of it and I'd like to share that with you so I haven't got my kit out yet I've just taken my bag off my pack and dumped my camera kit down there in the wet that's wise and um, yeah we'll see what we can capture so yeah let me let me get set up and then I'll see if I can find something and we'll take a photograph of it so yeah thanks guys I'll, I'll be back I'll be back very very shortly <laughs> all right guys so um, yeah I want to make sure that the um the trunks that are in this shot are separated uh, there's three trunks two that are behind the main trunk and this one i've done them at f 2.8 because i want to try and blur out those trunks that are behind um and and so we can just focus on these i am envisaging it as a square crop and um, so I, I don't even know if they'll be in it I, i'm i'm looking at it and i'm thinking i mean i could change it and photograph it as a square crop but I don't like doing that. I like to look at it afterwards and then decide what crop I want um, rather than, you know, remove it in it, when you're taking the photograph and then not have the opportunity to keep it. Um, so, um, yeah, the, the roots, the roots are all the way back to here. There, there's probably, I don't know, three foot, four foot of root that's on the surface of the ground. And it's like a continuation up of those roots all the way up through the trunk of the tree. It looks absolutely awesome. It looks fantastic. Um, I'm gonna take a couple of photographs. One, so I'm really close in. Um, one, so I'm a bit further away incorporating these roots. And I'm gonna try and take these trunks out because they're not really a part of the photograph and um, like I said f2.8 to blur them out anyway and the correct square crop um, yeah might might um, suit this photograph because I don't really want this bit in it although I might take one of that I might put the 14 mil lens on as well and see if I can incorporate that in a photograph because it's just a stunning tree um, yeah okay okay I'll, <laughs> I know I'm talking rubbish I haven't done this for a while guys um, I do apologize I haven't done it for a while but um, yeah we'll get there we'll get there and um, hopefully you like these photographs I'll share one two or even three photographs see what they're like and um, hope you like them let me know your thoughts and comments thank you very much I'll share those now thanks hi guys um, so yeah I've been wandering everywhere walking all around these woodlands and if I'm honest I'm not really feeling it, but I, I come across another one of these tree trunks. <laughs> you can't not photograph it. It is absolutely stunning and it goes way, way up there. It is absolutely stunning. Um, I don't know why, but somebody's decided to stick a swing on it and then somebody else has cut it off. So that's a good thing anyway. Um, yeah, I, I'm walking around. I'm not really feeling it. I don't know why there is 
places like when we when I walk down I can see there's some brown leaves on on green and and so the contrast between those is is really attractive but are they a photograph I, I don't think they are um, so I've not been taking photographs of that but um, it's such a beautiful woodland I'm sure Martin and Steve um, Daz probably um, Daniel and all the other guys from F7.1 Colin um, uh, you know they'd all be able to find something in here and potentially say to me you know do this do that but for me this morning I don't know if it's because it's the first time I've been out since we were in the snow um, I don't know if it's because you know I've not been feeling it for a while I don't I don't I don't know what it is but but this this is absolutely stunning and and I'll and I'll share a, a video of it you know of the of the height of it and and how it looks going up photograph wise um again I'm doing it at f 2.8 um, I'm at um, ISO 64 and it's one eighth of a second. Um, I've zoomed right in um, because I find the thicker part at the lower part of the tree really, really attractive. Um, I don't know. Um, again, you tell me. It, it's just to me, it's just a beautiful thing, you know. Um, I'm going to keep walking around and see if I can find something else um, because I want to find something else. Um, but it might be tough going, but yeah. Um, I don't know if you know, uh, but the, the guys and I from F7.1, we've put out a podcast and um, <laughs> we had a bit of a chuckle doing that. It was good fun. Um, um, a really good bunch of guys. Um, I really enjoy going out with them when we do photography and, and when we did the podcast, it was like an expansion of what we do. Um, I'll put a link to the podcast below. It'd be great if you could go and have a look if you haven't already. Um, but yeah, really good fun. And we are doing another one in a, in a couple of weeks time. Um, so that, that's something to look forward to as well. Anyway, um, yeah. Okay, so let me go and see if I can find some more photographs. I'll share this one with you. And um, yeah, thank you. Okay, so I say one thing and I mean something else. I didn't think that was a photograph um, with the leaves. It potentially is, maybe a square crop. Um, if it's any good, I'll share that with you. ISO 64, F2.8, because I want the background blurred out again. Um, and yeah, quite a fast, 250th of a second, I think it was, if I remember rightly. If it's any good, I'll share that. The other thing I wanted to bring up was that um, whilst we were in the Lake District, um, I had a problem with um, the gear head that I brought from KNF Concept um, and I asked to return it with a refund um, and what they did was they sent me a, a new one out which I didn't particularly want. Um, <clears throat> you may have noticed I'm actually using one now um, um, and what happened was I, I put that video out about the products which you may have noticed has been removed. Um, um, and I've removed it because uh, one of the guys from KNF got in touch with me. Um, they've given me a full refund and they've told me I can keep the one that they sent out to replace it for free um, and to try it again. So, so that's why it's on my tripod. Um, fair dues to them. You know, they, they um, got in touch with me um, and they put it right. So um, thank you very much to, I can't remember his name, the gentleman from KNF, but thank you very much to him. Um, I will try it. Um, I'm not particularly liking it at the minute it's a little bit stiff and I don't know if that's because I'm weak <laughs> or, or what but um yeah um yeah we'll see how it goes we'll see how, I'll, I'll use it for a couple of weeks see how it goes if I like it I'll keep it if I don't then we'll change it back anyway um yeah so um still going to walk around I'm going to walk around about another half hour or so see what I can find see what pictures we can take and um yeah I'll come back to you in a minute thank you yeah. Yeah, so I'm, I'm walking through 
this wood lines and everything's so flooded. I mean, it's coming up to the top of my wellies, which is worrying, but um, I can't really see anything. It's just, everything's so close together in this woods. It's not like I can find a tree that looks like it's hugging another tree or um, two different types of trees close together or something like that. I can't find anything, um, but we'll keep looking. <laughs> So I think I found what I'm looking for. Um, this tree, it's got loads of dead leaves on it. It's not too big, he's tiny. Everything behind it is green. And there is a large tree behind it, which sort of clashes with it. So I've come a bit to the left to get the tree, to try and get the tree out of it. However, there is another one with a double fork behind it as well, which sort of interferes with the shot. But um, I've done it at F9, because I want it sharp. Um, but the problem with doing it at F9 is I think the, the trees behind it will be a bit too much in focus. So I've also done it at F2.8 to see if that makes a difference. And the best one of the, the two, I'll share that with you. But yeah, I'll show you the back of the um, camera now. Um, yeah, and, and, and I've had to manipulate the scenery a little bit. I've, I've used uh, my camera bag to pull a branch that's coming um, from the right across into the way of the tree. Um, I don't want to damage the tree, I don't want to break it or anything, I just want to pull it out of the way slightly so it's not in the way of the of the photograph. So yeah, I'll share the photograph with you now, hopefully you like that, please let me know your thoughts and um, yeah, we shall continue. I'm, I'm, I'm pretty much done I think, but we'll, we'll have another, another little look around and see what else we can find. Okay. Thank you guys, um, I think this one's a nice photograph. Um, let me know your thoughts, thanks. So not such a waste of time after all, there's this fallen tree, it's obviously been fallen for a long time because the soil has all gone back and covered it all over again. There is a little bit of a hole where some sort of animal is probably living in there, but the tree just stretches out quite a long way. I don't know if it makes a great photograph because we've got these branches overhead as that are sort of interacting with it and there's a tree to the left that's sort of there as well. So I've tried to focus on points where those are not in the photograph but um, yeah I wanted the whole of the base of that tree with the hole and then the obviously the length of the tree where it forks out um, it, it must have been a magnificent tree he, he's quite tall and um, there's another tree on my right with these magnificent magnificent trunk um, yeah I've, I think I photographed enough of those today but yeah she's beautiful as well um, yeah, I'll, I'll share that photograph now. I'm gonna do it from a couple of angles. I, I've, I've taken one, um, F16, because I want it to be in focus all the way through. Um, ISO 64, and it was 25th of a second. Um, yeah, it's quite dark because of the, the coverage from all the trees. Um, yeah, it should be quite a nice photograph. There is another fallen tree just to the right. I don't think that's a particularly good photograph. However, it's got like roots that are wind, winding its way around the um, the the um, branches, and they look they look pretty good. But um, yeah, I'll, I'll share that one now. I'll see if I can get another one. I want to try and do one on a portrait looking down its length, um, and I'll share that one as well. Um, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to head back now. I'm going to head back to the van and go home. Thank you ever so much for watching. As always, it's been joy. It's, it's always good fun coming out. Sadly, the photographs, I don't think the photographs are fantastic. Um, that's from just looking at them at the back of the camera. I obviously haven't seen them yet. But um, yeah, hopefully you'll enjoy those. Hopefully you've enjoyed the content. Uh, thank you to everybody that's been uh, watching me over the past, I don't know how long it is now. I've been doing this about four years. Um, Unfortunately, I had to restart last year, but we're now back up to, I think it was 450 subscribers. But if you haven't subscribed already, that would be fantastic. Please join me. Um, and uh, yeah, like the, like the uh, video, that always helps. And uh, leave a comment, let me know what you think of the photographs. Yeah, sadly, they're not fantastic, I know that. It's just good to get out with the camera, and I always enjoy doing this. So thank you very much for watching, guys. Always appreciated. See you again next week, thank you. Oh. <sighs>